Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick update video for you guys. Uh, I've been out sick the last couple days ever since the last live stream, which went really well. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to watch the playback in case you missed it, it's on my YouTube channel here somewhere. Anyways, on to the video. This morning, Neural DSP had released the virtual device list for the Quad Cortex, which is due out in fall of 2020. It's the most powerful floor modeler on the planet. So yeah, you can pre-order and I think they're on their second batch of pre-orders, if not the third by now. The first thousand sold out already, so they're on round two. But anyways, if you go down their page a little bit, it's a little hidden button right here, virtual device list. Opening up the gear list, we can see that these are going to be the ones that are released as of September 2020 with the release of the initial pedal. So this is initial release stuff. You can see that they got a lot of Fender amps, Vox amps, um, you know the deluxe twin reverbs and all these different things i'm not a guitar player so i don't want to botch any of these because i'm not familiar with a lot of them but you can see a lot of marshalls a lot of evh and it comes with a lot of cab sims as well if we scroll down to bass amplifiers this is what's going to be uh, more specific to us bass players and it has the ampeg svt which is usually a standard on most modelers a mesa boogie and then we have three different versions of the Ampeg B15, which is a 64, a 66, and a jumped. I don't know what the jumped means. I'm not super familiar with the B15 as I've never played one, but I know the sound of it um, just based on research and everything like that. So it'll be interesting to see the differences between these three. And we got the Galleon Kruger and some Marshalls. We scroll down to guitar distortion and we have the Big Muff. We have a lot of other different types of distortion here that are written down here is specific to guitar but i know as far as the big muff uh, a lot of bass players will use that too including myself um, or a big muff variance we scroll down even more to bass overdrives and we have the microtubes b3k and vintage microtubes i would assume later on there would be more dark glass pedals because the owner of both companies is the same and they've worked closely together before as far as dark glass plugins for neural dsp so i would assume this would grow and we'll find out by scrolling down a little more for future updates the one that i'm most excited about with an initial release is the human gear animato animato however you pronounce it uh, plug-in because this is a pedal that is highly sought after for specifically Muse fans but a lot of bass players and different guitar players will like this pedal and the clones of it um, there's only one company I think that really does it well and that's Cruella FX and that's just one of my favorite pedals ever and it'll be interesting to see how it manifests in a digital version because the the analog version of this pedal has some quirks like mine at home will pick up a, a AM radio station certain times and just just little things like that but it's a really unique sounding and if there is any company that can get a digital version right i would assume it would be dark glass or neural dsp um, those guys just really know what they're doing and they do stuff right let's keep scrolling down we see we got a handful of compressors we got the neural compressor um, and a handful of these other ones i see 1176 on there which is cool and then you got your delays reverbs which none of these go into any detail as to what they are what they do they're just basic uh, what you would see in a multi-effects or modeler floorboard you got wah and envelope they get a little more specific here with different crybabies and different things uh, and then we go down to eq a bunch of different eq so powerful eqs utilities we got volume pedal slow gear slash swell which is a uh, it's a dynamic volume swell based on when you're playing so you don't need a volume pedal to swell in your sound it's a really cool effect uh, if you haven't tried it i highly suggest looking it up and so now we have features that'll be added in subsequent updates, and these are gonna be free updates. So we got a lot more guitar amplifiers. I'll let you go ahead and look through this list. Bass amplifiers, we got a couple more, and utility, a looper, so that'll be interesting. I'm really excited for this thing to be released. I don't know if myself, if I will get one or not on release. They are being limited and they are fairly expensive, and as of right now, I don't have a deal to get one for a demo or anything. So we'll see if I can get one for you guys and do some really good demos for you guys. But other than that, I just wanted to share this update with you guys. If you want to find this list for yourself so you can see and go through with fine tooth comb, here's the URL up here at the top. You just go to neuraldsp.com and go to the quad cortex page and it's down just a little button right here. So and you can read all about the other things of this pedal and watch videos and all this cool stuff. But anyways, I'm excited for this pedal. If you guys like this video and want to see more like it, hit the like button or leave me a comment. I'd really like to know what's the most exciting part of this floor modeler for you guys like what are you most excited about I think for me I'm just more excited about having a floor modeler that is 
um, I wouldn't say specific to bass players, but from a company that knows and understands the need of bass player and effects is what I'm most excited about. So Dark Glass has always done that right. Neural DSP has been doing it right. No offense to any other modeler companies, but having a company that knows bass players and understands what we need making one of these is, is going to be a big statement and it's going to change the game for sure. So anyways, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time. Bye.